Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to look at connecting an Atari 2600 joystick to the iPhone. Now when I first thought about this experiment, I was hoping to track down an Atari joystick that was manufactured in 1977, which was the year the Atari 2600 came out. I was hoping to do this via serial number, and when I did the research, I found out there was an entirely different model that was created the first year Atari 2600 was out, and it's called the CX-10. And then the next year, in 1978, they started making a cheaper or cost-reduced model of the joystick called the CX-40. So I was able to track down a CX-10, and you're probably thinking, well, it looks like the one I remember. What's different about it? Well, let's take a look. So first of all, you have this ring around the joystick here that's got that yellowish-orange paint on it. And although it's faded a little bit on this one, on the cheaper model, the CX-40, it actually had the word top up here. Also, the button on this one is much higher around the base. On the CX-40, it was almost flush with the base. This is uh, sticks out further, makes a clicking noise. But the biggest difference is that internally there is a plastic plate with four metal springs that hit the contacts when you move the joystick. And this feels very different than the CX-40 model. By the way, they made tens of millions of the CX-40 model, and that's what most of us Gen Xers would have played as kids growing up. This has a very different feel to it. It's very loose. It's not stiff at all like the CX-40. So they probably only made a few hundred thousands of these models. But um, yeah, I was able to track one down and it works fine. So how are we gonna get this connected to the iPhone? Well, the first thing I'm gonna show you is something I did a video on a few weeks ago, and that is the G-Bros adapter from 8BitDo. And this allows you to connect GameCube controllers and Wii Classic controllers to the Nintendo Switch, Macintosh, Windows, and even the iPhone. Now, it is a little tricky to connect this to the iPhone, and I went into detail in the video I did a few weeks ago with the DK Bongo, so if you're interested in how to connect this step-by-step -step to the iPhone, watch the video on the DK Bongos. Essentially, you have to go into accessibility, switch control, Bluetooth switches, and add it there instead of through the usual method. So that's all great, but how are we gonna get the Atari joystick into that? Well, I've also done some videos lately on RAFNET adapters. These are adapters for retro controllers to USB. And this guy up in Canada also makes inter-console adapters as well. So I got one of those. In this case, it has the DB9 or Atari connector on it, which was also used for the Sega Master System and the Sega Genesis. And it converts it to the Wii Classic controller. So I'm gonna hook all this up together and then we're gonna have some fun and see if we can get this old 1977 Atari joystick to work with the iPhone. Okay, so I have the Atari 2600 joystick hooked up to the G-Bros adapter and I've downloaded Miss Pac-Man on the iPhone, so let's see if it works. All right, now that's all well and good, but I've got something really cool I want to show you now. When I was deciding to do this project, I remembered that there were some websites you could go to and play Atari 2600 games right in the browser. And so I was like, will this even work on mobile Safari and will it work with controllers on the iPhone? So the good news is the games do play with the touch controls 
inside of mobile Safari. So let's see if they work with controllers as well. So I've loaded up one of the classics of all time for the Atari 2600 Pitfall. Let's give it a whirl and see if it works. And it does. This brings back some memories, that's for sure. I'm probably going to get killed here. And I did. Anybody remember Adventure? How about Asteroids? How about Hero? How about Superman? And you knew I wasn't going to let you get out of here without watching me play E.T. There's a Reese's Pieces. Oh, fell into a pit. Nothing's changed since the 80s. Still the same game. Ah. <laughs> Kids today will never know the suffering. <laughs> anyway... That's it. It works perfectly fine on this website that has all the Atari games on it. I'll put a link to this as well in the description below. Works in Safari, works with controllers, works with the Atari 2600 controller the way it was intended. So anyway, this is by far the oldest thing I've ever connected to an iPhone. Earlier this year, I connected a 1986 hard drive. Uh, this is 1977, so it's got that beat by nine years. This is an iPhone 10, came out in 2017, so exactly 40 years apart from this controller. If you have one of those shiny new iPhone 12s, you get 43 years difference between the two devices. This has turned out really great. So anyway, that's all for now. If you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe. I will be back soon, but that's all for now. Take care.